So there's a connection sometimes between the ancient Hebrew and the Greek. Now, you look towards red, or poly, as they end up calling it in the Greek, but they were for many, the greatness. Now there's also a connection that we end up seeing this within the Shema. The way that we end up seeing for strength, they actually use the word meod. Meod, meod, that's how you say it. Very, you know, I, I use the Spanish, it's like mucho, mucho. They have an extraordinary amount. But you have many, you have poly in the Greek, but also in understanding that the greatness that we end up seeing. Rev, actually, when you look towards within the name, for a rev, for example. He has greatness. He is mayo's mayo because of that interconnection with God, because of the plethora of his affections towards the grace of the Lord and Savior that we build forth, and then therefore are edified in that strength because of the abundant blessings and the prosperity of all of the spiritual gifts. Now, what are the spiritual gifts? Peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, love, severity, and mercy are both shown for that we are edified because of faith, and because of faith, it therefore then shows us how to take forth and build into godly love. That godly love is actually the very brotherly love that we end up seeing that edifies the strength of the saints, call it forth unto righteousness, and because of righteousness, therefore gives more. And to call God for actually, because he has promised us so many blessings, he has given us power, he's given us red, he's given us mayo, mayo, because of that achara. Now the greatest commandment is pretty simple. Love God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. You gotta have that reciprocation of love. Now we get into this a little deeper. Now the word for love itself is heart. What do you have on your heart? Is Christ Jesus there? Yes. And that's the idea. It's to build for that resurrection power, the strength that God has given us. That every day we are born again. We are reborn anew with the refreshing spirit of the Lord our God. Jesus says it. He says the spirit of the Lord God is on me to preach the good news. What is the good news? Christ, salvation, glory, peace. All of it actually is built forth because of the enduring perseverance of God. If I start to look towards this, I can realize that devotion itself, actually goodness, this is taught forth from Peter. Peter shows us how to take the steps that build us up towards the God of love. Now, the way that you end up seeing this, he uses Philios from Philadelphia. It's a brotherly love that he tells Jesus. They ask him, they say, do you love me? He said, well, Lord, I feel you. But the way Jesus teaches us is so much more. He uses agape. He uses that ahava. It's to have a divine connection. You've got to look towards the Lord. Now, you got to realize, sometimes, the Lord's looking at you. And he teaches us. We've got to have ahava. We've got to have that power. We've got to love him in every way. you got to look at it and you got to say, you're my brother. You're my father. i got to look at my child and realize that's not taking care of Christ himself. That kind of love for your neighbor. It's agape. It's ahava. That's what we've got to build. That's what we've got to create. And you have to see this every day. It is his beloved. Yeshu, the Navi Yeshu. That in its essence is the key. That's salvation. And when you start to build this, he's going to show you over and over again. And I'm going to give you blessing after blessing. And you're going to learn to receive and then therefore understand that it is powerful. It's method. But with an understanding that, that it also is a shield for that bargain that he so that you end up receiving that eternal protection coming forth in his name. You learn how to commit. I have the keys to both heaven and hands because I have the word of God. The word of God is the very key itself in the creation. Jesus knew how to build for everything because he knew the word of God and he had faith. When we have faith and we have the word of God, we can move mountains. We can take this hill. We can move the hearts of kings, channel the water, and understand that that is moving the heart of the King himself. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for this nation. I want you to receive an abundant blessing of glory and sanctification coming forth because of the name of God. I want you to call on the Lord and know that he's going to answer you, that he's going to give you abundant blessings. And because of that, you're going to go forth into all the world. You're going to preach the gospel. You're going to change hearts and lead them into repentance. You're going to be strengthened. You're going to be edified. And God is going to build forth that glory because of the Lord. Call on the Lord and receive that blessing. God bless. God bless America.